Is it okay to cut your losses or should you even cut your losses at all? Check this out. Hi guys, hope you guys are good and well. If you're new to this channel or page, like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get updated on what's happening in the markets and the world of investing. Now, I got a lot of questions over the past few weeks asking me if it's okay to cut your losses. By the way, if you're new to the world of stock trading and investing, cutting your losses actually means this. You buy a stock, buy it at 10. After buying it 10, after a few days, weeks, or months, or even years later, it goes to a much lower price, meaning it probably goes to 9.5, it goes to 9, it goes to 8, it goes to 7.5. So what does that actually entail? It means you selling it at a much lower price than your purchase price. So it actually means also that in the world of trading and investing, if you hold on to a stock, even if it goes down in price, you don't actually lose anything. It's only a paper loss. However, if you actually sell, that's when you experience and actualize the loss that you're having. So now the biggest question is this, what if it goes down? Should you just sell? Should you cut your losses? Because if it's a good company, it will always come back and it will always uh, have a chance to go back higher than the price that you bought it. The answer to that is it's twofold. It depends on your plan and it, it depends also on your strategy. Here's the thing also, here's a misconception. People would always say that if you're an investor, you don't have to cut loss because it will always come back to a price that's higher. That's true in certain aspects. However, what if the stock that you bought, the fundamentals suddenly change? I always tell people this, regardless if it's for investing, regardless if you're in it for the long term, if the stock's fundamentals would change, you have to sell. Please remember this. If the stock's fundamentals would change, meaning its earnings is no longer there, it's not as attractive as what it was, it stopped growing, it started to mature, or the earnings started to dip, or even they got a negative earning, stay away from it. Sell already. Sell was the fundamentals of the company start to change. You do not have to hold a company that's not doing so well. Please remember this. It's like you buying a company. If the company is losing money, why would you want to hold on to it? Sell, cut loss, even if you bought it at a higher price and even if you're an investor. That's why it takes a larger uh, analysis to take before you buy a stock. Please analyze the stock well first before buying it because if you analyze it and the fundamentals are not good, it will prevent a lot of cutting losses in the future if you are an investor. Now, if you are a trader, of course, by all means, you have to follow your technicals. If those support ranges break, sell. If that stock reverses from an uptrend into a downtrend or a sideways market to a downtrend, sell as well. Better protect yourself from even greater loss. What, what people don't see is this. If they don't sell, what you could have been a 5 or 7% loss could now be a 30, 40, 50% or it could be years of waiting. You cut your losses if time is very, very important to you. That the time instead of you waiting for it, you can actually use it and churn and earn from another stock. Case in point, Semex, case in point, Surpass, case in point, Del Monte, case in point, FGen. There are so many stocks that for years and years and years and years and years and years and years have already been down, have already been bearish. Whereas if you transferred it to another stock, you would have earned a lot. You could have compensated for the losses if you cut your losses early. So if time is important to you, sell and transfer it to another stock. Also, if you want to maximize also the direction. It, you see, you, we don't know it. We don't know how long a stock will drop. We don't know how long it will be. And if you want to protect yourself from a massive or even larger loss, that's when you need to cut your losses. That's when you need to sell. So cutting losses does not mean that you're wrong. Cutting losses just means that it did not go your way. Sometimes we're so, uh, we're so scared to admit that we made mistakes that we hold on to a stock just hoping. Please remember this, hope is not a strategy. Please remember this, that hope will not make you profitable. I'd rather make mistakes and be profitable and admit them because admitting them allows me to uh, tweak my strategy for later trades. So do I cut my losses? I do for both investing and trading. And it has also helped pay the way for me to uh, experience better gains as well. So now here's the thing. If the stock is still good, you're an investor and the fundamentals are 
still there, you can have an option to hold on to the stock. That's provided that you know the fundamental of the stock very, 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 very well. And that's the strength of investing in the markets. So that's it for now. I'm still here in Tan Bantayan, but I hope videos like this help you maximize your trades in the market. It helps you gain the conviction that you can actually win. You can actually trade the markets, that it can be done. That regardless of your job or profession, the stock market can be for you. It's a lie that you cannot invest and trade the markets with confidence. So this is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you. Trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you.